Hello students, I am Kavita Upadhyay, your English teacher. I welcome all the students of class 9 to today's English class. Students, and we are learning the unit auxiliaries and this is part 2. This is the last and the second part of the video. This, today we are going to learn modal auxiliaries. Prior knowledge, that means you already know verbs and their forms, tenses and their uses, different types of sentences. You know how to change sentences from one type to another. You know auxiliaries and their types and you learned in the last video uses of primary auxiliaries be, do and have. I hope you remember that. Auxiliaries. The word auxiliary means a person or a thing which supports the other. Auxiliary verbs are so called because they help to form the various tenses, questions, negatives, moods and voices of other verbs. They do not denote an action in a sentence. Example, you are going to school. In this sentence, are does not mean anything but it supports the main verb going. Are going denotes present continuous form. Had my friends helped you? In this sentence, had does not mean anything on its own, but it helps the main verb helped to form past perfect tense. Auxiliaries are of three kinds. Primary auxiliaries, do, be and have. These three are called primary auxiliaries and modal auxiliaries can, could, may, might, shall, should, will, would, must and ought are called modal auxiliaries. Apart from these, there are marginal auxiliaries, need, dare and used to. Now let us see what are modal auxiliaries. The verbs can, could, may, might, shall, should, will, would, must and ought are called modal auxiliaries. They are used before the main verb to express special meanings like permission, possibility, probability, certainty and necessity etc. So, modal auxiliaries are helping verbs can, could, may, might, shall, should, will, would, must and ought. They are called modal auxiliaries and they are used before the main verb and they help the main verb to express special meanings like permission, possibility, probability, certainty and necessity etc. Now let us discuss the uses of modal auxiliary verbs. For asking permission. In formal language that means with authorities, seniors and teachers and principal, we use formal language because we have formal relationship with them. Then we say, may I go to toilet? This is the sentence with which all of you are familiar. You ask permission of the teacher to go to toilet and use this sentence, may I go to toilet? This is a formal sentence. Casual, that means with friends and family. When you are talking to your sister, your brother, your mother, father and friends, you use can to ask permission like can I borrow your car for a day. These are two friends talking and one is asking the other can I borrow your car for a day. Now with strangers, supposing you have to ask permission of a stranger and you are quite hesitant in asking, you say could I use your phone because you wish to be polite and you are hesitating to ask permission. Could I use your phone? Now giving permission and prohibition. When you give permission to someone or you do not allow someone to do something that is called prohibition. What auxiliaries to use? You may request a copy of this picture. I told you may is used in formal language. So, may is used formally here. You may request a copy of this picture. 
you can take my car if you want to you remember a friend asking the other if she could borrow her car for a day now she is granted permission you can take my car if you want to this is less formal this is casual you cannot go before 5 pm this is prohibition and negative views cannot you must not make a noise this is again prohibition cannot is used to prohibit you cannot use may not now correct the following sentences rohit to a co passenger rohit is traveling and he is talking to his co passenger he says can you help me to lift my luggage can you help me to lift my luggage now jaya to her brother may i use your laptop for a minute tina to her boss can i go home early today now pay attention to the relationship between the speaker and the listener and then see whether she or he has used correct modal or not let us check the answers can you help me lift my luggage is wrong rohit should have used could you help me lift my luggage because the co passengers usually are strangers and you have to express your politeness and hesitation in your language so you use could with them jaya to her brother may i use your laptop for a minute instead of may jaya should use can because she is talking to her brother with whom she has casual relationship informal relationship tina to her boss they have formal relationship so she should use may not can may i go home early today i hope you have understood it now now to express ability or capacity we use can or could you see in the picture the man is lifting a very heavy box we say this man can lift heavy boxes he has the ability to lift heavy boxes you can do it yourself that means you also have the ability to do something yourself now see the other picture the man trying to lift a bucket he says i cannot lift this bucket that means he is trying to say i do not have the ability to lift this bucket she cannot find her shoes she does not have the ability to find her shoes and in the past tense instead of can we use could to express ability or capacity she could not answer any question she could not answer any question that means she did not have the ability to answer any question they could defeat the enemy they had the ability to defeat the enemy now to express possibility probability possibility or probability we use can could may or might i see dark clouds dark clouds are seen then it may rain today this is affirmative sentence and it expresses the possibility of rain today the sky is clear now you see the sky is clear that means there is no possibility of rain so we say it cannot rain today it is impossible to express impossibility we use cannot we don't use may not we use cannot may is used in affirmative to express possibility or probability but in negative we use cannot she is not picking up the phone she may not be at home this is probability when we use may not that shows probability that means there are other options also she may be sleeping she may not be at home anything is possible so for probability we use may not but for impossibility we use cannot could and might as past equivalents of can and may could and might are used as past equivalents of can and may in present tense we say you can jump over the wall but in past we say you could jump over the wall he can speak english fluently in the past we say he could speak english fluently he said to him may i go now this is a sentence in direct speech 
when we change it to indirect speech we say he asked him the reporting verb is in the past tense so we use might instead of may may was used in the present tense but when we change it into, into uh, indirect speech we use might as past equivalent of may now fill in the blanks with can could may or might i dash answer all these questions just now you dash have a leave tomorrow i dash swim across the river when i was young she dash scold you for your mistakes try to fill in the blanks now let us check our answers i can answer all these questions just now that means i have the ability to answer all these questions just now you dash have a leave tomorrow you may have a leave tomorrow this is to give permission to grant permission may is used here i dash swim across the river when i was young i could swim across the river when i was young why this shows the ability which i had in the past when i was young she dash scold you for your mistakes might is used she might scold you for your mistakes there is possibility that she might scold you now for request we use will would or could but when to use will or would or could let us see in less formal language we use will where we have casual relationship will you pass the salt please with friends and family will you help my son with his homework please this is the language we use in informal relationship but where, where we have formal relationship we have to be formal and polite in our language we use would would you close the window please would you post my letter please this is formal and when you are talking to strangers you are hesitant and you need to be polite you use could could you tell me the way please use of will and shall to denote future you all know that we use will and shall to denote future shall is used with first person subjects you all know that i shall be 20 next year shall we meet him tomorrow i and we are first person subjects and with these we use shall but now people generally use will with all persons there is a growing tendency amongst people that they use will with all subjects like we will buy a car soon will is used with second and third person subject they will pass the exam will you not help me he will not call you with they you and he you is second person they and he are third person subjects we use will with them will is used to express willingness habits request and invitation like i will make tea for you this is my willingness i am willing to make tea for you i wish to make tea for you so i offer i will make tea for you he will talk for hours this is characteristic habit of the person he will talk for hours this is the habit of of the person but we are talking about it with will will you bring me some water this is a request will you have some rice will you have some rice this is a question this is offer this is offer that means you are offering rice to the person would and should are used as the past equivalents of will and shall they would help the poor this is past habit for present habit we used will if it is a persistent characteristic habit we say he will talk for hours this is characteristic habit but for past habit we use would they would help the poor i thought that i should pass with good marks i thought this denotes past tense we have used should instead of shall she said that she would make tea for me instead of will we used would to express duty or obligation we use should must and ought to when we wish to say that 
something is compulsory for us to do something is our duty or we are morally obliged to do something we use should must or ought to you must write your name on the sheet this is necessity this is necessary for you to write your name on the sheet that means you must write it they ought to take care of their elders this is their moral obligation or moral duty we ought to love our neighbors this again is your moral duty one should keep one's promises this is your duty and you should follow the rules of the road this is duty that means for necessity something which is necessary for you to do which you are required to do must is used for moral obligation or moral duty we use ought to and for our duty we use should fill in the blanks with the correct modal auxiliary verb he dash play with snakes when he was a boy he dash play with snakes when he was a boy students dash submit their assignment in time dash you have some snacks we dash respect our parents we dash respect our parents try to find the correct auxiliary verb modal verb for these blanks now let us see the answers he would play with snakes when he was a boy what does would denote here it denotes a past habit when he was a boy it was his habit that he would play with snakes students must submit their assignment in time must is used as necessity to express necessity students are required to submit their assignment in time will you have some snacks this is an offer we should respect our parents this is our duty now students let us see how we use modal auxiliaries in different situations to ask permission we use may can and could may in formal situations can in less formal or informal situations and could where you are hesitant in asking permission to give permission or to prohibit prohibit means not to allow somebody to do something you use may can and cannot you may go now you can go now you cannot go to express ability or capacity we use can in the present tense and could in the past tense to express possibility may in the present tense and might in the past tense impossibility when something is impossible we will say cannot it may be true and it cannot be true it might be true it could not be true can in the past is could so when we say it might be true it could not be true improbability improbability means probably this is not so but probably this may be so may not she may not be at home this is just our guess impossibility means it is for certain and improbability means it is just our guess now to request we use will would and could will is less formal would is more formal and could is hesitant and polite now to express duty we use should we should obey our elders it is our duty moral duty we ought to look after our parents this is our moral duty and necessity means when you are obliged to do something when you are required to do something we use must you must bring your hall ticket to the examination hall i hope you've understood it now now rewrite the following sentences using modal auxiliaries now here are some sentences for you and you have to rewrite them picking up the sense from the sentences what the person is trying to say and what is the situation according to that you have to use appropriate modal auxiliary first one is possibly 
she is not your new teacher possibly here we are expressing possibility i was able to read alphabet when i was 3 i was able to read alphabet when i was 3 here ability is expressed do you allow me to use your phone do you allow me to use your phone it seems that the person is asking permission you are not permitted to go out of the examination hall you are not permitted i hope you understand the meaning now certainly this is not true certainly this is not true try to think which modal auxiliary can be used in these situations now let us see the answers first is possibly she is not your new teacher now pay attention to the word possibly that means it expresses possibility let us see the answers for possibility we use may so the answer is she may not be your new teacher she may not be your new teacher second is i was able to read alphabet when i was three was able to expresses ability in the past when i was three that means it should be in the past tense in the past tense to express ability we use could in the present we use can but in the past we use could so the sentence is i could read alphabet when i was three do you allow me to use your phone now pay attention to the words do you allow me do you allow me means i am asking permission for asking permission i use may or can may i use your phone you are not permitted to go out of the examination hall you are not permitted to go out of the examination hall are not permitted to that means permission is not granted i am prohibiting you for prohibition we use cannot you cannot go out of the examination hall certainly this is not true certainly in itself tells that we are talking about certainty to talk about certainty we use cannot this cannot be true now you have to correct the following sentences if required <clears throat> if you think that there are any mistakes in these sentences you can correct them if it is required he said that he may go that day he said that he may go that day as it starts raining heavily ram says situation is it starts raining heavily ram says we might need an umbrella if we go out we might need an umbrella if we go out the child is neglecting his studies this is the situation the child is neglecting his studies the father says you can work hard if you wish to pass you can work hard if you wish to pass this is what father says neeta to her guest neeta is talking to her guest and she says can you pass the sugar can you pass the sugar suman about her brother suman is talking about her brother he will tease me all the time when he was young he will tease me all the time when he was young now look at these sentences try to see if there are any mistakes in the usage of especially modal auxiliaries if you find mistakes try to think the correct modal modal auxiliary which should be used here try to guess the correct modal auxiliary which should be used in the given situations now let us see the answers he said that he might go that day in the question sentence we had may may denotes present tense but 
in past tense we use might he said this is in past tense that means the main clause is in past tense so the subordinating clause must also be in the past he said that he might go that day instead of may we should use might as it starts raining heavily ram says we will need an umbrella if we go out as it starts raining heavily in the question sentence we had might we might need why might might denotes that there is little possibility we will need an umbrella but here it is already raining heavily so we must talk with certainty and say we will need an umbrella if we go out it denotes we will certainly need an umbrella okay the child is neglecting his studies the situation is child is neglecting his studies and the father says you must work hard if you wish to pass in the question sentence we had can you can work hard you can work hard means the father is giving option to the child there is no option if you wish to pass you must work hard this is necessity to express necessity we use must and not can neeta to her guest would will or could you pass the sugar not can you pass the sugar can you pass the sugar is rather rude so to, to request politely we will use would will or could would you pass the sugar will you pass the sugar or could you pass the sugar and i would prefer using would or could not even will because it is less polite and formal suman about her brother suman is talking about her brother he would tease me all the time when he was young instead of will we will use would why because it is talking about past habit when he was young this was his habit so would must be used i hope you have understood the correct usage of these modals now now students today we have learned what modal auxiliaries are i hope you remember that can could may might shall should will would ought are modal auxiliaries and how they are used in different situations that we have discussed in detail and now students you must try to do all the exercises given at the end of the lesson in your grammar book so that you get good practice and you master the skill of using correct modal auxiliaries in your sentences good luck for your studies and thank you